This is College Physics Answers with Sean Ditchko. The vapor pressure of water at a certain temperature is something that we look up in table 13.5. So we follow the temperature column to 20 degrees Celsius, and the vapor pressure is 2.33 times 10 to the 3 pascals. In part B, we're asked, uh, what percentage of atmospheric pressure does this correspond to? So we convert that uh, vapor pressure into atmospheres by dividing by 1.013 times 10 to the 5 pascals and you know that's the pressure in units of atmospheres divided by one atmosphere times 100 percent is 2.30 percent and uh, in this part c we're finding what percentage this um this um this density of this water would be um, as a percentage of the density of dry air now this is just an approximation because um, this is not the density of the air at 20 degrees Celsius when it contains some water. This is the density of dry air. Um, it's a bit more complicated to figure out what the total density is of the air plus water combined. So this is strictly speaking is not the density of, um, of the water in, in the air. Um, but anyway, it's close enough. I mean, if there are density calculators online and you can find that the uh, pressure or sorry, the, the density of the air with some water in it at 20 degrees Celsius is about 1.19, which is pretty close to this. So um, we have 17.2 grams per cubic meter at 20 degrees Celsius. Also, that came from um, table 13.5. And we convert that into kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, in order to divide by the kilograms per cubic meter in the denominator. And so that's 17.2 uh, divided by 1,000 divided by 1 1.2 kilograms per cubic meter, and we get 1.43%.